Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another edition of Myriad Monthly with myself Wahid and today we'll be talking about some of the events and achievements we've had over the past month. So first of all we'll talk about uh, the initiative that's uh, been launched by Muslim Council of Britain which was Visit My Mosque Day. So that's a national initiative uh, where over 150 mosques took part uh, across the country and Alhamdulillah Myriad supported four local mosques across Manchester with their pre-planning and uh, again execution on the day. And Alhamdulillah a number of our volunteers came together in terms of supporting the masjid so one of the things we did was we got the uh, members of the masjid the imams the, the committee members together uh, across uh, across Manchester to do a brief induction for many of them it was their first open day so they needed quite some tailored support there uh, so some of the experiences that uh, our visitors had were uh, calligraphy uh, so we had people there at the masjid doing calligraphy where they was writing their names and, 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 and showing what, what different types of uh, Arabic art. They had uh, a tour of the masjid so you know for some of them it was the first time they'd been to a masjid. Also, we also had ex exhibition stands as well so there were various exhibition stands covering different topics about Islam and Muslims in Britain and, and in addition to that it's not just exhibition stands that our volunteers both from Mirad and from Mosque were there on hand to speak to our visitors not just on the tour but you know give them a bit more information and uh, that personal touch which is really important for any open day and to, to finish it off they all our visitors left with, with a gift uh, where they can find out more information and some sweets and goodie bags and whatnot. Next up is our project My Social Buddy and this project is about spending time with uh, the elderly people in care homes. Uh, this month we actually teamed up with uh, a local church Inspire and we visited Mosley Court uh, which is a care home there. Uh, fantastic day there because we spent the day first of all by uh, uh, helping with uh, making the lunch there on site and then uh, having a good chit chat over tea and cake, everyone loves cake. And it's just about breaking that the social isolation because a lot, you know, some of these people might rarely get any visitors, so it's just a great experience for them. If you do want to get involved, we've got another one coming up this month, so do get in touch with us. Uh, details at the end, you can contact us by email or social media, and we'll book you for an induction. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Next up is the awareness project. Uh, in the past month, we've been quite busy with uh, the ISOC students preparing them for Discover Islam Week. So we help them with preparing the questionnaires that they'll need to do in terms of the conversations that, we, that they'll be having across uh, the campus. In addition to the questionnaires, we also prepared them about the conversations that sometimes might be deemed a bit controversial. So uh, they were quite prepared for that in terms of their uh, dawah work. Inshallah, we do hope it goes very well for all the ISOCs taking part in Discover Islam Week, which uh, should be very successful. Next Next up our Feed a Friend project which many of you know is about our food banks that we have. So once again we teamed up with ISOC at MMU and they were busy this month collecting food which will be distributed by our Feed a Friend project to local needy people. The food will be distributed to 12 different food banks across Manchester and of course our very own food bank which we've got at SMM and CA. And if you are interested in uh, helping with donations or collections then do get in touch because we, we are always in need of additional stock. Uh, and obviously the need is out there so please do get in touch if you can assist us in any way. Next up is my tech buddy. Uh, now this project is about teaching elderly people uh, about essential IT skills, skills that some of us take for granted. So obviously we've got the digital divide and some of that is about really getting to grips with uh, something that some elderly people might fear which is using computers. So we've just completed level two uh, with our attendees and that means they are now quite comfortably able to send and receive emails, use social media and as you all know these are very important tools to enable people to keep in touch with family and friends which will be great for these people. Uh, as part of completing they receive a certificate and a little gift and we do look forward to them uh, joining us for level three as well. Next up, unveiling Islam. So you remember back in December we held a workshop with the Rainbow Trust. Rainbow Trust is a charity that helps terminally ill children and uh, off the back of that workshop uh, they, they said they wanted to visit a mosque so they uh, viewed the uh, masjid on a tour, they spoke to various members of the community uh, and volunteers that were there, they found a bit more about uh, Islam and Muslims again similar to other open days and they received a gift and all in all it was a great day. The fantastic thing about this is the way that this kickstarted off was initially as Myriad were giving Eid gifts out a couple of years ago and from there built the relationship with Rainbow Trust and established a need 
and yeah. inshallah something we'll take forward there again and that's all we have time for on this session today so if you do wish to get involved or find out any more information do you can get in touch with us via social media email or via our website so uh, that's it from myself Wahid inshallah I shall see you again assalamualaikum